west of the Willamette River. You know, you could be without water for up to six months if we have that big earthquake. Because of it, the Portland Water Bureau wants to spend $57 million on a new pipe. Well, Chris Witter digging deeper into this. He's live in southeast Portland with more on this proposed big pipe. Chris? Where that pipe would go, just north of the Markham Bridge and under the Willamette River. But today we wanted to know if this project is so important, why hasn't it been done yet? And what makes this the right time to spend millions to get it done? It sounds like a worst case scenario, but it is also likely. Our various crossings that we have across the river right now that feed the central uh, downtown are not likely to survive an earthquake. Six water pipes all could be in shambles, including the two on the Ross Island Bridge and two under the Willamette that serve downtown and the Washington Park reservoirs, leaving the west side completely cut off for up to six months. None of those have been um, designed for earthquakes. They've all been designed prior to um, us knowing that we had an earthquake risk. The Water Bureau is looking to get the Portland City Council to sign off on an expensive solution. A new 42 inch diameter pipe buried 80 feet deep beneath any liquefiable soils below the Willamette River crossing from east to west, just north of the Markham Bridge. There are some 130,000 Portlanders that live on the west side of the river, and we also supply wholesale contractors on the west side of the river. So this project is extremely important. Among those that could be left without water after a quake, three major hospital complexes and the entire downtown core. We desperately need to be able to provide water on the west side of the river. And that is the purpose uh, of this project. But we've learned the city has a low level of confidence in that $57 million estimate. So the price may even go up. Now the Water Bureau hopes to get their approval so they can get this project started and then have it completed by 2019. And as for that question, why hasn't it happened yet? Well, I'm told that this has actually been in the works and the process has slowly been moving forward for several years. And the Water Bureau just now got to the point that they could come to the city council to first begin talking about this bidding process. Live on the east side, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.